Votes are still being counted in Kansas. Mail-in ballots are still being received by election offices across the state, and they'll count as long as they were postmarked on Tuesday and arrive in the next 24 hours. So let's take a look at the presidential results county by county. President Trump won Kansas in convincing fashion. Obviously, you see a lot of red in all these counties, but the state's most populated county is blue. For the first time in 100 years, Johnson County backed a Democrat. KCTV5's Nathan Vickers explores why. Are you so stinking cute? Samantha Parrott has noticed the swing in Johnson County, <laughs> and not the kind she visits with her son at Sarko Car Park. I think we're a real melting pot now in Johnson County. I think there's a lot of diversity now. She's not surprised that 52% of her JoCo neighbors picked a Democratic presidential candidate for the first time since 1916, when Woodrow Wilson won the election. Something about the Trump presidency seemed to distance some suburban voters nationwide, even longtime Republicans like former Kansas Attorney General Bob Steffen. I think Trump made a lot of people angry because he was so nasty. Over the last four years, we've seen what's kind of come about. I agree, it is kind of moving that way. But some researchers see a bigger trend. Patrick Miller is a professor at KU who believes the shift may have more to do with changing demographics here. It predates Donald Trump. Johnson County has been inching more blue really since 1980. Over the last 50 years or so, a lot of the farmland in Johnson County has turned suburban, and that shift in demographics has translated to the ballot box too. The rural parts of Johnson County are still pretty Republican. Now, they're more Democratic than they used to be, but still quite Republican. Miller believes JoCo could continue to shift left as development continues to the South and West, but some voters see their community as more purple than blue. I mean, I'm for most of the things that Republicans say they're for. <laughs> it's hard to predict whether Johnson County will swing back to red in four years. Johnson County is just ready for change. Johnson County is ready for something different than the last four years has offered us. 2020 could indicate that anything's possible. In Lenexa, Nathan Vickers, KCTV 5 News.